Okay, Jay, we're in the uh, old Bauer building here that uh, the city recently accepted a donation for, and we're talking about ways to use it. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the building? I have some experience in the 90s when we had summer rec here, but I know the history goes well beyond that. Um, yes, um, really, really a very, very cool building. Um, the building was originally constructed kind of following the initial construction of the high school. Uh, the gym project came along in the 40s as a uh, WPA project, uh, uh, New Deal project. Um, that was intended, federal dollars that were intended to bring, to kind of bring us out of the Great Depression following World War I. Um, uh, so Baldwin received funds for the building and I, I believe it was constructed early, early 40s. Um, uh, it was constructed by an architect out of Topeka who was known for um, school design. Um, so why did they, I'm sure they went and uh, found an architect doing that. And uh, um, <clears throat> uh, so drawings were completed, the building was constructed after it was received the funding. Um, and the um, uh, project was in construction in the 40s when our involvement with World War II began. Um, and that was kind of a turning point for the project because it was, it was partially complete. Um, the historic records read that um, it became a kind of grassroots piece that the community of Baldwin actually got everybody together and figured out how to finish the project because all WPA workers for um, the project were, that work was suspended and they were relocated to work on a military science building at the, uh, at the University of Kansas. So Baldwin grouped all these various groups together, everybody came out in a grassroots effort to and finish it and get it operational. Um, uh, uh, a lot of the labor for that kind of finishing effort was was purely Baldwin. I did read that um, it was actually the Baker University students who dug the water line to get the water out of the facility because at that time we didn't have utilities out here yet. So, um, but um, so the building was completed. Um, and it just so happened that, and I don't know the origins of it, but Baker's Gym had burnt. They had had a problem there and it had burnt, so they needed a place to play uh, their sport. And so the first game in the building was actually Baldwin High versus Eudora High. Um, there is no record of who won that game, but I bet it could be found. Um, and then the second night, um, it was open, the building was used by Baker University to play a team from, I believe it was Western Kansas. So, um, so the building got done by, by the citizens of Baldwin and it immediately went in, into use. Um, really an incredibly interesting old building. We just, we don't build them like this anymore, it's absolutely right. Low bearing stone walls, you know, steel, uh, steel windows, uh, glazed lock, you don't see a lot of this kind of detail anymore. And um, it's just, it's just really an intriguing, intriguing building. Um, Styling on the building is a, uh, the, the stone on the outside is a random answer. Um product within stack brick accents, the red bricks that you see between the windows and on various elevations around. Um, then at you know, each of the entries there's stone detailing that has some uh, uh, barbs or X kind of details on them where, where they have kind of carved in the title of the building and that stuff. So um, just, just really a very cool, cool old building. I agree. Can you tell us a little bit about SHPO and how um, they'll sort of affect uh, some of the changes we'll want to make and some of the limitations that are there? Sure. Um, so uh, SHPO is basically the uh, Kansas State Historical Preservation Office. And they are in charge of taking buildings that are on the register in the state of Kansas and applying the Secretary of the Interior standards from the federal level to those buildings in an effort to um, maintain the historic integrity of buildings in Kansas. Um, uh, so on projects specifically like this, this project very much, it, it is on the register of historic places. Um, and so it qualifies for, uh, and, and will be required to be reviewed under those guidelines. Once, once a building is on the register, it's, it's part and parcel of that process. Um, and so we'll work with SHPO to um, in going through the design process to be sure that what they call character-defining features of the building 
are maintained for all eternity. And so that um, what was done back in the 40s is historic, can be looked at and, um, and seen in the future as, uh, as a historic piece or a record of that time. Um, the, the really intriguing thing about this um, is that the space is inviting for a community building type setting in that it would allow, the, the vastness of the space allows for a multitude of uses, which um, which is really great. You take old buildings and they have a completely different use, you know, in moving forward, but this one might maintain that potential for um, its original intended purpose and carry on in the future, which it, it, it's a nice thread. Yeah.